don't make all of your financial decisions based on um, whether numbers are related to Satan or not. This is this is a pure choice on my on my behalf. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Plutocracy. We are here in our wonderful office. We are, of course, the uh, magnificent uh, crude oil. <laughs> um, we are going today to start off by doing something absolutely amazing. Um, we're going to come to Dorslick Inc. and I'm going to immediately enact <laughs> enact a renaming ceremony uh, of the company uh, because in the comments I saw a wonderful suggestion and I liked it so much that I have to roll with it. So there we are. We are now Doyle Oil. <laughs> Um, I think that was a great suggestion. Thank you very much for that, and uh, keep your ideas coming because uh, yeah, this is fantastic. <laughs> um, we have got a bunch of money to spend. We've got 8.65 million dollars, and it's burning a hole in my pocket. I need to spend it immediately. Um, we need to decide what strategy to take and who we should buy next. Um, I kind of want to buy oil companies. Um, it's kind of thematic, um, but it doesn't mean we have to buy all companies. There are other companies available. Um, if we have a look at the stock market, maybe we can have a look at the uh, day prices and have a look at what's fallen. Right, so cheapest thing to buy at the moment is probably Torres Coal. That's an option. Uh, the other thing we can do is have a look at the uh, company screen here and just have a look at the market cap because... And you can see here, Williams and Partners, they're only worth 6.66 mil. That's uh, that's the devil's number, 6.66 mil. And <laughs> funnily enough, we're making 3.33 mil, which is the half devil number. That's that's kind of a coincidence, isn't it? That that's almost a sign to me that we have to buy Williams and Partners. So uh, I think I think based on that purely, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do it. Um, don't make all of your financial decisions based on um, whether numbers are related to Satan or not. This is this is a pure choice on my on my behalf. Um, but basically, uh, this company, although it's not an oil company, it's got a low market cap and it's well within my personal budget, so I can start investing in Williams and Partners. I know the the share price <laughs> isn't necessarily up. Did you see that as well? The, uh, the the stock exchange price 6.66 hmm I wonder yeah that's <laughs> that, that can't be a coincidence right <laughs> oh geez um, crazy numbers is it that's not the case all the time is it 6.66 666 and uh, over here to Rose Cole where are we duh 7.57, 7.57, hold the phone, have I just discovered something I didn't know? Yes, <laughs> okay, so the market cap is always linked to the stock exchange price, I never knew. <laughs> um, we've learnt something together today, so isn't that great? Cool, so anyway, um, we should invest in Williams and Partners, I'm pretty sure of that. There's some other things I'd like to do as well, if we, whoa, not this one, if we look at our awards here, then we can see that we can um, get some more achievements if we start trading with people, or if we fulfill wishes, um, loads of different things. Uh, and I want those stars so that I can start doing things like um, cozying up to the governor. Uh, so if we go to the capital page, uh, we can see that Jaden Powell is currently the governor of Texas and uh, he's got um, ambitions and if I fulfill those ambitions I can make a friend and uh, when I'm friends with the governor I can do sneaky things. <laughs> so if I go to Doyle Oil, my new favourite company, um, and I have a look at the, uh, not the statistics page, but I have a look at ah, this page <laughs> you can see that there's two actions here get subsidies and government contracts now subsidies are like um, a massive uh, a massively discounted loan that you can get from the treasurer um, and that's uh, very favorable so 
uh, it's something I want to go for. And again, government contracts, which is a, a massive increase in your price um, that you sell your product at, uh, I guess, to the government, <laughs> uh, which you can get by being friends with the governor. So for subsidies, I think you need to be friends with the treasurer. For um, government contracts, you need to be friends with the governor. Um, again, you can do all of that over in the sort of like capital screen here. So this is the governor. Then over here we've got the treasurer. However, <laughs> you have to bear in mind that if I start making friends with this guy, um, there's going to be an election soon. <laughs> so on the 4th of November, this is all change. And all of these people, I mean, they might stay in post, but they probably won't. <laughs> and then all of my hard work would be for nothing. So if, I'm, if I want to make friends with um, the guys in politics, I want to do that when they've just been elected and then that gives me um, as much time as possible to utilize uh, to utilize the friendship as it were right so let's see if we can uh, potentially fulfill a couple of ambitions and get a couple more stars um, I, I really want to improve my management skill here because I want my CEO to be more effective um, and it would probably be good to start putting uh, some stars into eloquence, etiquette, trading, all of the diplomacy stuff because pretty soon I'm going to want to uh, trade directly with people instead of going into the stock exchange every time I want to do something. For now let's uh, let's go to the stock exchange because it's the only place I can trade. Uh, prices are pretty high at the moment so I'm just going to put a a uh, single share in Sir William's Partners and then have a good good old nosy at the books um, they have got a million dollars in reserve they're making not a lot of money but they are making money um, there's definitely levers we can pull to improve things here I think the first thing I'm going to do though is suggest that there's an expansion now if you haven't seen one of these videos before you might not notice but the current stock exchange price is 6.66 if I go into the management screen and I say let's spend a bunch of money that we've got and hopefully people agree to this and they broadly do um, but not always so we'll see how this pans out yeah so one person voted against um, what happens now is that the amount of money in reserve has dropped significantly by $560,000 and what that does is it affects the market cap which decreases the stock exchange price which we've learnt today um, so now when we go into the stock exchange price you can see bloop, big drop um, so what was uh, a rise in the ask price for Williams and Partners is now a fall and that is really good for me because it, it's good for, for me buying shares now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this little filter here and I'm going to change this to have shares because um, it was showing up with a few bankrupt companies they weren't really bankrupt it was the companies that we had previously merged um, it's yeah I'd rather they just didn't show up at all but you can apply a little filter there to uh, sort of do the job what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the um, time progression to single day and I'm gonna start buying shares and just to make this a bit more comfortable of a viewing experience for you I'm gonna catch up with you when I've bought a bunch okay okay so we are now the uh, majority shareholder in, uh, in Williams and Partners, we have a controlling interest currently at 57.6% of the company. We can see over here that the stock exchange price is currently um, pretty low. Uh, ask price is uh, 6.03, and the actual um, price here is 4.9. Um, but now we have a controlling interest, we can take that work plan down to nothing, which is what we always like to do and that means the share price has gone down very significantly so I think I can probably buy out the rest of the company on less than well on a very small amount uh, so far I think all my purchases have been below six dollars so yeah this is the average 5.77 um, so yeah we've done really well at buying out the company at a cheap rate um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go for broke <laughs> as it were I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make some deals directly with the people here they're going to ask me for significantly more than um, it would be in the stock exchange but given given that I've manipulated the price a bit um, I don't think it's going to be too bad 
let's start negotiation and I'm not going to pay what she's asking I'm going to try and compromise so already she's come down to 7.53 and it looks like she's got a trait which means I can't do anything other than agree and 7.53% 30% of the company I'm going to do it because that's that's not too bad so what did we actually pay stock market price 3.11 we paid 7.53 that's significantly um, less than we would have paid uh, if we hadn't messed with the figures beforehand and look at this we have earned some stars <laughs> which was kind of what I wanted to achieve today so this is great let's uh oh there you go control of companies as well the stars keep rolling in what I want to do before I angrily turn down whatever this is <laughs> is go to the bookcase in the office um, and I want to put a star into trading a star into etiquette a star into eloquence and a star into management um, because we're going to be doing some negotiations with the people uh, precisely these people <laughs> so we've got Samuel Cooper here I'm going to uh, try and get his uh, share of the company as well and again I'm not going to pay what he's currently asking I'm going to go for compromises oh he looks like a difficult guy to deal with oh no I was wrong <laughs> well easy okay so we're doing it we've got a really good deal with this guy so I'm going to agree fantastic so what did we pay 3.72 what a steal perfect um, and then we've only got one guy left and Anthony Carter okay so Anthony let's uh, let's do a deal and we'll see see how much you want you have really put the price up this guy knows that I am like the last guy so yeah he's he's re he's not interested in selling and he's got a conflict confl uh, he knows that I'm a controlling interest so he's put the prices up loads um, but that's fine let's start a negotiation and see where we get to with this guy uh, he's giving it to us it's fine <laughs> I'm gonna go for a compromise but it'll... oh and it's, it's paid off let's see if we can get him down here I don't think we can Nah. let's just agree here boom there we go and we now have a hundred percent so crude oil is now the owner of um, Williamson partners hundred percent let's go to the management screen and let's fix the company because we messed it up now we have to fix it and um, what I am going to do is I'm going to reduce the dividend size um, to about 30 percent so that most of the company uh, funds go directly into the reserve and that'll be good because it means we'll build up a build up a um, well a reserve <laughs> a reserve of cash that will help us if there's any strikes or any other problems um, and it will prevent this company from going bankrupt and it will also uh, mean that we have got a player in the metallurgy business the, I think this is like steel something or other um, anyway we, we'll have a stake in the metallurgy business so that we can start um, buying other metallurgy companies with this one so very good indeed we do have the um, stock exchange price has gone up again <laughs> which is uh, fantastic and if we have a look at the average buy price here is 6.05 dollars and the current ask price is 6.13 so any money that we make with Williams and Partners is going to be a profit um, I don't have a funny name <laughs> for our metallurgy company um, so yeah give me an idea uh, if you've got a fun name for a metallurgy, a metallurgy company if you can get it to fit with crude oil somehow then I'd be impressed <laughs> but yeah give me your ideas leave a comment and uh, maybe maybe I'll choose your name for the name of this business um, so we're on a roll guys we've got 5.79 mil in the bank there are still businesses out here that we can uh, that we can we can buy some oil companies taking a spill at the moment including ours um, which is potentially worrying maybe I should check that out before I do anything else so there's Doyle oil which are probably never going to be able to say properly let's have a look at the stats here we are making a lot of money uh, but not all the money what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to build another building 
um, and then hopefully that will increase our market share. I did see a comment asking why I'm diversifying and I'm um, investing into other companies. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because there is a there's a like a, a hard limit on how much you can expand your company because uh, every time you invest into a building it takes time to build um, and you can continue expanding automatically that's fine but you, you're always going to be hard capped on the amount of expansion you can do so the quickest way to actually grow is to buy another business merge them together and then increase your market share that way so if you remember back at the beginning we only had a very small slither of um of market share in the state and now we've got a good a good 9.43 percent and we basically did that by merging two companies together um, we wouldn't have been able to do it otherwise so that's that's just a, a quick word on um, merging companies we can see here that Raymond Brothers Steel they have got um, they've got a strike on at the moment they are usually a big company so it might be worth putting some cash into them while we can um, but it's always good to, to start acquiring some of these smaller companies as well uh, although this is probably the oh, okay so you've got Price Brothers here as a metallurgy company but you've also got Raymond Brothers Steel um, I don't want that one I want this one Raymond Brothers Steel yeah and because there's been such a, a decrease in the stock price it, it would feel remiss to not buy shares here so if I just do the old trick of buying a one piece share jump in and have a look at their stats and see if they're in debt no debt plenty of money in reserve fair amount of dividends room for improvement I think this is a steal we are gonna could I could I make it worse <laughs> so what are they at now uh, 25.6 so if I, can I get them to agree? They might not because of the strike. They have. <laughs> okay, so what does that take us to? 24.7, it's small, um, but it does make a difference. What I'm gonna do then, is I'm gonna start buying shares in uh, Raymond Brothers Steel, um, and then I'll come back to you when I've got some. Okay, so I am now one of the bigger owners in uh, in Raymond Brothers Steel. I have 20% of the company, which would be uh, pretty good for me. Um, at the moment, I can't really <laughs> can't really utilise that because I've I've got no money left. Um, remember, this is a high market cap company, so I'm not going to be able to do anything too fancy. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward again, <laughs> get some cash, and then uh, continue the buying spree. Okay, I have a little bit of money and I, I have maybe a day left to buy the Taste of Freedom. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to buy the Taste of Freedom because who doesn't want to taste freedom? I better put a bid in. There we go. So I bought for 17.3 well within the uh, acceptable range. So all looking good. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's put that to one side and let's have another look at uh, Raymond and Brothers Steel there. Now they, they are still on strike. But the uh, market price did go up somewhat so I'm not going to get as good a deal as I could potentially let's just see if that drops at all and it doesn't I I don't care for changing CEO because it doesn't make a difference normally um, so I mean it says they're still on strike but I guess the strike will probably end anytime soon um, I think what's important is that I keep the sort of purchase price below sort of thirty dollars and as long as I do that I should be making a good amount of a good amount of money so let's uh, let's just continue to buy I'm just gonna basically throw my money at this company here like this and then take it down and then go back up towards 30 and then bring it down again and I'm just yeah just doing that to, uh, waste but to use my money so now we're at 29.3 percent so I need more cash and I've got more cash but the uh, <laughs> the the party fun times is over and uh, the, the, the strike is done and everybody's back to work which means the share price has gone back up so we, we utilized the strike to buy some shares at 28.4 
the current um, market price is 31.7 so we've done a, a decent job at building up our sort of reserves here um, which is great we're, we're slowly buying into the steel market you can see our company here will be owned the entire thing <laughs> that's worth 10 mil and our shares are 30% our shares in this company is worth 9 so yeah quite a bit of uh, work to go before we own uh, Raymond Brothers Steel as well. Um, again, I need a name <laughs> for these companies when I finally own own them all. Let's have a look at the old uh, map again, and let's have a look at this market cap. So Price Brothers, they're the next ones on the list. Um, it's going to take a little while for me to get enough money, and then Inc. Price Inc. as well. Price Brothers, Price Inc. Geez, the, the Price family are doing well. <laughs> For themselves uh, we still have shares in, in uh, Baker and Partners um, in Raymond Brothers Steel and we of course uh, own Doyle Oil now if we have a look at the management screen for Doyle Oil yeah we're, we're still putting a good amount of money into reserve so we need to remember that we've got six six mil in reserve um, here so when we go to pricing and we can see that they they've got 11 mil um, it wouldn't be a bad thing for us to just chuck money into into these guys to be fair so now they've got a high dividend rate but they do have money in reserve so let's get a big building on the go um, because expansion is always a good thing that was close <laughs> let's go to the stock exchange yeah price is down let's let's buy some shares I think what I probably want to do is try and keep below 11 point five-ish definitely below 12 um, but if I try and keep below 11.5 let's get a single day progression and basically what I will do is just buy until I get to that point progress until the price drops and then buy again and I just m make sure that I don't buy below above this sort of 11.5 mark um, and, th and that just means that I'm uh, <laughs> keeping myself uh, controlled and, and not wasting my hard-earned cash uh, too much I'm gonna say no to this be gone <laughs> all right and let's keep buying okay so now we are the largest uh, <laughs> the largest player in this market as well or in this company at least uh, in pricing um, yeah which will one day be part of Doyle Oil um, remember I need at least 75% of the stake in order to um, merge companies here so I won't be able to do anything quite yet and I need to make sure that of the market cap of the company which is 10.7 I've got enough cash in reserve to go after this um, go after this business anyway so that's something to, to sort of bear in mind as well um, let's have a good old Good old peek at this state of play at the moment and if I go by market cap again so we own Williams and Partners which is the smallest um, company in the state but only by a small margin we've got a fair amount of uh, shares in pricing a fair amount of shares in, in, in Baker and Partners which are currently striking so um, when the quarter ends maybe I could put more money into Baker and Partners uh, I do have a good amount of money in Raymond Brothers Steel as well and of course I own all of uh, Doyle Oil <laughs> um, and there are quite a few companies which are bigger than us but Doyle Oil is doing okay for us at 38.3 mil um, and we are earning a, a fair amount of money not a great amount of money but a fair amount uh, which means that I imagine in no time at all we'll be mopping up a lot of the a lot of the state of Texas um, which would be absolutely fantastic for me um, I think if we have a look at the capital um, the elections will be taking place or would have taken place oh no that's 1876 oh gosh so they've got a while in yet I guess they've just been elected let's have I missed the news uh, November the 4th uh, no, uh, yeah, 1873 elections for public office will be held in many states ok so I guess the uh, I guess the guys that were there already um, got elected uh, I don't know why 
I don't really like the, the news system in this game. It sort of needs a bit of a tweak. <laughs> but, okay, so we've got some uh, governors and some treasurers that we can start bribing um, when I get those points unlocked in the bookcase, but that's for another day. <laughs> so uh, let's, uh, let's have a quick review of where we're at. Um, the richest person in the country at the moment, if I have a look at wealth, um, I don't need to filter it, I just need to press this button. Okay, it's currently Joseph Martin of New Jersey, and he's got $649 million in assets, and he is raking in $3.87 million every single quarter. I think Samuel Perry, the speaker, is going to catch up with him eventually by the looks of this. Um, but okay, so this is who we're currently aiming uh, aiming for. We, uh, crude oil, we're currently at 2.34 mil and we've got a wealth of 65.2 mil and our enemy, the notorious Alison Edwards, the demon headmaster or headmistress <laughs> over here, she is uh, uh, she's not doing well. <laughs> she's only got a wealth of 3.9 mil which is pocket change for us and she's got a balance of 794k so even though uh, we've got the game on the hardest difficulty uh, I don't think the AI is any better <laughs> um, yeah so if you're playing the game just put it on the hardest difficulty <laughs> I, I guess I guess we did kind of cheese the system by starting with our own company as well um, but yeah the game's kind of easy in that in that regard so uh, yeah, I don't think the opponent's going to do much to us this time. <laughs> okay, well, um, I, that's all I've got time for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, episode. We uh, did take over another company, which is great, and we did earn ourselves a bunch more, uh, a bunch more achievement stars, which is always always fun to do. Where was it? Local monopolist. Ha! No, this one. Ha ha! Exclusive owner purchased uh, purchased stake. Um, and not the edible kind <laughs> so yeah we've uh, we've done some of this and we've got more to go so if you want to see more um, and you haven't subscribed already please do uh, subscribe if you've got any ideas about what we should call our companies our uh, steel companies then leave me a comment I very much enjoy reading your uh, ideas and suggestions so just uh, just get them in and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, all that good stuff. <laughs> right, this has been I Try Games, and until next time, goodbye.